years, I believe it is now, somewhere around about that. We used to live in Tanghall. Um, we used to own the property next door, um, but we saw that we had we had a fruit shop running at the same time as we had this. All got a little bit much, so one had to go. So we left the area, and we just kept the bread shop, and obviously we bought a home. Over the years, we've actually built up a nice reputation, and we've got children that have grown up still coming in with their children. You know, so you know we've had like quite a family sort of orientated business really, and and that's you know goes a long way for both ourselves and them children who remember things that, oh, do you remember when you used to make those little 2 ice lollies? Some days people have horrible days, don't they? They just want a smiley face behind a counter and that friendliness and that, you know, unity goes a long, long way to making an area quite nice. Hence us still being here, I suppose. <laughs> Over the years we've seen obviously lots of different changes and good and bad and, and everything. Um, but in general, I think it is, yeah, pretty, pretty nice area, really. I've never felt unsafe, you know, never felt unsafe. Even, like, come winter when it's dark nights at three or four o'clock. We've, we've had our bro a window broken once. Um, I think we had the wheelie bin set on fire once. Maybe squiggle on window with a, you know, pen or... Do you know what I mean? But nothing, nothing untoward as such. That we've never had to call the police, put it that way, ever. Oh, I mean, when I was from this tale, this little lad come in and he was he had a bit of a rough life at home and he and of course tried every trick in the book, you know, which just didn't wear. And one day he really upset me because I, was, I thought you would have been so different to, to me, Dan, you know, like that. And he went over to the hospice and bought me a little glass to say sorry, you know. So, you know, I always think there's good in everybody, even how bad they are, you know. Over the years we've seen lots of changes also purely because supermarkets are taking over and that's a bad thing really. You know some people don't see anybody all day so it's a lifeline coming to a little shop. Supermarkets don't have that time to actually speak to a, you know obviously the elder generation especially. Without, without a community you've got no heart of anything have you? And I think even going back to when I was a child myself how much community you had to probably how we, that's dwindled since, since you know I was a child myself. Everybody knew everybody, nobody knows anybody anymore. Very few people anyway. That that neighbourly thing that, you know, I think that does go is going. And I think we do need to bring that back. Personally speaking, I can't say anything bad, you know, because I truly we truly have enjoyed every day we've come to work here really. I can honestly say hand on heart, we've had probably 29 good years here, really, yeah.